Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 10th. So this is for April 10th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. Eight of Cups. So we all know this is walking away. You know, there's some, been some disappointment. The Six of Wands reversed. There's no recognition. Um, <laughs> could be a lack of confidence. No progress being made in situations like there's no victory and success. Two of Swords, this is a stressful, painful situation, right? I mean, Two of Swords. <sighs> painful choice. Somebody has had to make a painful choice, or they are making a painful choice, because wherever they're at, there's no progress being made. It's like they can't, you can't avoid the reality of what is. Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's an, there's an opportunity for love. There could be a new love, right? And, you know, if there's a new love and you ain't getting no satisfaction over here, I mean, that could certainly be the case. I'm saying, this could be self-love. Either way, there's an opportunity for love, right? Do I follow my heart? Do I do what's right for me? Or do I stay in a situation where there's, you know, there may need not be any respect or, you know, there's no recognition, there's no success. I mean, the Six of Wands reversed. No passion. Somebody is absolutely, positively, 100% moving on. There is no doubt. Hitting the high road. Moving forward. Finding the ability, the willpower, and the discipline to face their fears. We have somebody that is, you know, making a, making a decision to, to head out. Somebody is heading out. I mean, that's what we got going on here. Heading out. Their heart is telling them to do so. It's like this is this is driven. This is driven by, you know, love. Maybe even self-love. I mean, that's what's that's supposed to come first, after all, right? You have to you have to do what's right for you. Emperor, e the emperor, son of a gun. <laughs> Well, the Emperor is Aries, right? We all know it's Aries, but it could be any sign. Whoever this is, this is probably a masculine. That's my guess. We have somebody here that is very... Um, we have a very strong individual who has done everything in his power to prove himself, right? He has. He's done everything that he possibly can to make things right and to do the right thing. And he's had a lot of obstacles along the way and he's persevered and even though he's made a lot of mistakes you know he's learned from those mistakes and I think he's gained the wisdom that he needs now to the point where he knows that it's he knows he knows that it's time to go he knows that it's time to you know go in a different direction because you know there's no success here there's no coming together in whatever situation there is 
you know we have this we have this I think it's a masculine who has made a decision to you know basically say goodbye to us say goodbye to a situation it's like he knows he has enough like experience behind his back to know that no matter what kind of uh, energy he puts into a situation at this point it's a it's a lose lose you know there's no victory and success here it's like he he's reached the end of the road and it's time to take the high road so I feel like we definitely have a masculine here that is you know very uh, you know disappointed with whatever has happened you know there's been some sort of emotional disappointment in his life and he's making a decision and he's sticking to it Okay, when the emperor makes a decision, he sticks to it. He doesn't, it, it's made. This is a, this is a, this is a leader. Okay. He's always been the leader. So, and he knows he's the leader. People look up to him for, because of his authority, his ability, his wisdom, his ability to follow through with things. So, he has made a decision to walk away. Somebody has made a decision to to leave that disappointment behind it's, it's time for me to go um, I feel like like I said he, he's he's done everything in his power to uh, make something grow to uh, maybe get get more recognition or, or to, to fix a situation or to get growth out of a situation but I think he realizes that you know it's it, there, there's his the season it's over the season if you notice it's harvest time here it's, it's over the season is over it's over i'm telling you what we have a we have a major completion here a major phase okay is over you know this is a it's an ending right the world card is the last card in the deck this this the traveler has has traveled uh, the whole journey that was involved in whatever phase or lesson that was needed in that chapter of life whatever okay so we have somebody here that has learned some sort of lesson one prominent phase one one prominent chapter in their life is over they can consider it a success because a lesson has been learned and now it's time to close that chapter and start on a new one. And I think it's been a very difficult, painful situation, a painful decision to, you know, complete this chapter and step over that finish line. The time is up. If you notice, he's, he's, he's standing on the, the hourglass. The, the time is up. The time is up. There's no time left. It's, it's time to you know, start over. It's time for a new, new chapter, right? So whatever it is that he has been, you know, holding on to, or what, it's over. The time is up. So yeah, I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely traveling to a new, net, uh, new destination. I mean, definitely, absolutely. Somebody is making a decision to, you know, you notice he's waving goodbye goodbye it's funny because remember yesterday I started out my reading and I said the world card you know we have a major completion here an ending we definitely do it's a lose-lose situation with the five of swords it really absolutely is you, you can't win no matter what you do at this point the best thing to do is to walk away and somebody has come to that conclusion they've gained a lot they have a lot of life experience it's not like they they don't know what's going on we have somebody here that you know I don't want to fight anymore I don't want this conflict I don't need this conflict I don't need the criticism I don't need to uh, do this anymore I'm gonna follow my heart I'm gonna follow my heart and instead of the fight you know I, I don't want to fight I don't want to I don't want to do this anymore I don't want this conflict we have somebody here that's really been struggling really 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 been struggling with you know trying to to fix a situation and the fact of the matter is that you can't fix it because 
it's almost like it's out of out of the the person's control. You know, it's it's up. The time, like I said, the the season is over. The time is up. This is it's up. You know that saying they say some people come into your to your life for a season, or some people come in, you know, for a lifetime or whatever. Whatever this is, it's like that period, that phase, whatever it is, is it's it's time. And somebody has come to the conclusion, the realization that you know, it's it's up. It's over. I am absolutely, positively moving on. Somebody is going through a major life transition right now, and they are taking the high road to balance and harmony. They have been in a situation where there is no peace, where there is no balance, where there is no harmony, and the only way to get to a fulfilling uh comfortable place is is to go and it looks like they're going a well I guess there is another person there is somebody there driving they may they may have uh, somebody coming to to help them to rescue them to help them get to that better peaceful place Anyway, we have somebody here that is, is taking the journey to peace and harmony, right? They're making the decision to do so. I'm moving on. Absolutely. We have somebody here that is absolutely um, deciding that, you know, I'm taking the high road. I am taking the high road, so... I think it's painful. I think it is painful, but the, whoever this person is, the decision has already been made because they've done everything in their power to fix the situation, and at this point, it's over with. You can't, there's nothing you can do other than, you know, plant your seeds someplace else and start over. So I think that somebody has come to that realization that, you know, I'm going to have to face my fears. I'm going to have to, you know... Take the road that I have never taken before. You know, go down a new road. I got to go down a new road. I got to go down a new path. The Empress. Now, this guy is going to... This is, There's a counterpart waiting. And maybe he sees that. I mean, this is a counterpart. You know, I said... Remember, I, I think I said a minute ago that, you know, somebody may be, may be helping him. I'm not sure. But we do have the birth of a new life, right? The Empress gives birth to a new life. And I feel like we have, uh, you know, we have a rebirth here. We, we do have a rebirth. We have a painful ending, right? Somebody has dealt with a lot of pain. They're about to experience the pain, and then they're going to have a rebirth. So that's what we got going on here. Like I said earlier, it's been stressful. It's been painful. There's been fear. I think there's been fear of, of uh, you know, the unknown here. Somebody has been, I think we have somebody that has probably known for quite some time that the time was just about up. And I think that, you know, perhaps they were fearful of, You know, afraid to face their fears, afraid to, you know, I think there's some guilt here as well. I just, I see guilt. You know, maybe there's some guilt here. There's some, maybe there was some unfinished business or something that needed to be handled before they could move on. I don't know what that means, but I, I just feel like we have somebody here that is ready for closure. Nines are closure. They're making a decision that I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to worry anymore. I, I don't want to. I don't want to hang on to this anymore. I I just want to. I want a new life. I want a new life. So I I feel like we got somebody here that is has been challenged with starting over. You know, with a fool, with the world. I mean, to the fool, it's a challenge, right? They've been challenged, and you see the right here, okay. 
this is when the see now the the hourglass is upright and that it's it's an it's a new era it's like the time has just started here it's over okay so you know we have somebody here that is deciding that it, it's time to start over they're about they've been chatting so I was holding it like this I don't know if it was reversed or upright or whatnot so I'm gonna call it a challenge it's been cha it's been challenging somebody has been challenged their fears have been challenged and it's like now somebody is ready to take that leap it's like I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready because I know that it's time to start over the time of hanging on to that old chapter that old life that there's no success in is over so I, hear, I feel like we have somebody here that is I don't know if this is upright or reverse because I moved the deck so many times is is, is deciding that it, it's time to take like I said take the high road it's time to start over somebody is is closing a very significant chapter in their life and they're about to start com from complete scratch clean slate so I feel like today, or, or whatever day it is, it's Wednesday the 10th, I'm recording this on the 9th, somebody is making the decision to, you know, walk away from a disappointing, emotionally unfulfilling situation where there's no victory and success in search for a new life, perhaps even a new partner, you know, a soulmate. You know, they realize that this, this phase, this season, this chapter is over. The time is now up. They've been worried. They've lost a lot of sleep. There's been a lot of anxiety. There may even been some guilt here. There's, they, there's been a lot of fear for sure. There's been fear of the unknown, fear of change. Somebody may have been trying to avoid this because, you know, we have a person here who, who really tries to make everybody happy. This person is a warrior. And I feel like this person has done everything in their power to make everybody happy. But no matter what they do, it's a lose-lose situation. And now they're at the point, you know, where i got to follow my heart. i got to do what's right for me. i got to, you know, love matters, self-love matters, I matter. You know, everybody else matters, but but love matters most and, and my heart matters. So anyway, I really feel like we have somebody here that is leaving a situation where there may be no success, no respect, no recognition because, you know, they're in search for a higher love, you know, or something like that. And they're moving on. Somebody is deciding to definitely 100% moving on. I mean, I can't, there's there's absolutely no doubt about it. We have somebody here that it is, is saying goodbye. I, I I want peace. I want harmony. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take this into my own hands and I'm moving to a better place. I'm I'm going. So that is what I have. Now I think we need an oracle card, don't you? And it's like, it's like they've seen the light. You see the light shining in? See all the light shining in? It's like they're following the light. Somebody has seen the light. It's like, I got to go. I got to go where it's bright. I got to go where it's happy. I can't stay in this darkness anymore. Somebody is going to be facing their fears real soon, real soon. And a significant chapter or phase of their life is coming to an end. And they're making the decision to do that out of self-love. <coughs> they may see that they have a better option. I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I mean, they may they may realize that they have a better option someplace else. Because, I mean, that emperor and empress, that's a... That's a power couple, okay? That's a... If, if there was ever a match made in heaven, that would be it, okay? So, I feel like we, we have two people that are coming together after somebody leaves a situation. And I think that this person has foresight. This person, you know, is so wise that I think this person knows that, you know, once they face their fears, they're going to... You know, they're going to get to that better place where there's the 
unconditional love. The Empress gives unconditional love. I guess, I, get any, I guess I'm taking that one since it doesn't want to go in the back. Focus on the light. Did I just not get done saying that somebody was seeing the light? I did. I absolutely did. So somebody is seeing the light and they're following the light. And that's what we got here. Somebody is deciding that it's time. It's time to go after happiness. Focus on the light. A tremendous force of light is gathering around you. It is attached to the purity of your intention to create from your heart. And you see where I put the card? I kept associating this card with your heart. Do you remember that? I did. Got to pay attention. Anyway. A tremendous force of light is gathering around you. It is attracted to the purity of your intention to create from your heart. As your intention grows, so does the light. <clears throat> As the light grows, so does your intention. Magic wants to happen for you now. The synchronicity, perfect timing, opportunities, and information that are needed will seem to be drawn right to your door. You may start to feel as if you cannot walk outside without stumbling into something helpful, wonderful, and inspiring. You might be startled at this interplay of light with, with your heart evokes many new successes and attracts an abundance of opportunities your way. You may need to adjust as the field of light grows stronger and as its effect becomes more palpable. It may bring rather dramatic improvements into your world. You may be uncomfortable or feel out of your depth with these changes. This would be understandable, but it would be a shame for you to hold on to that resistance for anything more than a brief moment. Any resistance or fear will inhibit the continuing free flow of the light so that it can manifest its beauty through you in the physical world where it is needed. It is best to stay focused on your pure heart in and intentions. Just allow, just allow all else to happen of its own accord without making it mean anything too personal. Simply let it be the workings of the great light of love flowing through a pure heart and touching the world. Oh my God! Light, heart, world. You see where I put the cards? Unbelievable. I lost my space now with that one. Even if the light that is drawn to you and flows through you has some dazzling effects, you don't have to get caught up in it. Doing so might start you worrying that you are unworthy or that you are unable to keep up. And then, we I just moved the card, but it was right here. Worrying. I mentioned it. It's, these cards, they always sum up my readings. Sorry to always say that, but it's the truth. Whew. Doing so might start you worrying that you are unworthy or that you are unable to keep up. This worry will constrict possibilities rather than allowing the free flow of light. You have permission simply to be appreciative of the light and to enjoy it as you continue to focus on what really matters. The pure intention of your heart. I told you this already. If you are not sure what this means or how it would look on a practical letter level, consider this example. A service-oriented business becomes very successful financially and gains considerable commercial power, which can be used to help promote its message or assist other organizations in gaining exposure to the public. Of course, that power could be used in less pure ways, such as boosting personal ego rather than promoting the agenda of the heart. Power games and politics 
mar might start erupting as the people grab for their share and suddenly the purity of the project begins to crumble. Sometimes success can be like a powerful mirror in a shining searchlight as it shows up what was already within someone or a group of people. Under the spotlight of success is a more intense, amplified, and obvious. It is more intense, amplified, and obvious. This can give us an opportunity to sow the seeds of our own destruction or to work on what arises from a heart-centered perspective to create a firmer foundation that supports an even greater attainment. How would that work in this example? By returning attention to the heart of why the business was started in the first place. It is wise to maintain focus on the pure original motivation for the work rather than shifting course to focus on money or influence. The latter are not bad per se, but they are rather different. They are, they are a rather different vibration. Focused on personal gain rather than heart-centered contribution. And I think that's where I see the guilt. Anyway. When focus shifts from the heart, the underlying energy of any creative project can become contaminated, contaminated with lower vibrational forces such as fear, which is behind greed, for example. If this is not rectified, that business or creative project will begin to change. It will lose the luster of its original purpose that made it so attractive and magnetic to the light. Its continued ability to grow as a light in the world will be dim dis diminished. It will. It's only that instant gratification. It's like that devil card doesn't last. This oracle brings an assurance of success of the highest order, not just commercially, but from the heart. It will manifest as a highly valuable offering to the world. This applies to a project, endeavor, or organization in which you are involved. Your heart will help you realize which group or project it applies to. It may be more than one. However, you must stay focused. Enjoy the glittering, light, glittering lights of success, but don't be distracted by them. Stay on point with what you want to create and why. Straight, stay true to yourself. This oracle also brings another message. Don't be distracted by other paths around you at this time, as you are too close to succeeded, to succeeding on your own. Diluting your energies in the pursuit of too much will slow down your success. And the world needs your light to shine sooner rather than later. Hmm. Anyway, this is saying follow your heart. In other words, I think we have a masculine. Yeah, we may have a feminine too because she's here as well. So it could be either. It could be. They're both here. That is deciding. The decision has been made. There's time for a new life. You want to know why? Because my heart says so. Talk to you later. Good luck.